So Israelis that are not happy, what would you say no, to them? Not happy. What would you say to them? Uh, what do you say about the Israelis not happy? What do you say? Leave the country. <laughs> Aviumini for Rebel News in Tel Aviv, Israel. Days after the most right-wing government in this nation's history has been elected to the parliament by a landslide. We're here to find out what everyday Israelis feel about this, and especially because Benjamin Netanyahu, who was probably one of the world's biggest COVID tyrants, is back, and he's a conservative. And we need to know if his supporters forgive him for what he did back in 2020 or whether now they believe with the right-wing coalition things will be better a lot of women feels frightened because the men are back in charge i'm a bit worried that the status quo the liberal status quo will change and uh, we live in a liberal uh, country and tel aviv is a very liberal city and it's the engine of the country and i just wish to things will stay as they are kilo very dark place so i know a lot of women and me myself too woke up the other morning feel frightened about my place and this country are you scared of the result what it means no, no i'm not scared i don't like that all of the parties there are a uh, a religion, but I think that everything will be okay. So this time I didn't select it for him, but uh, I respect it and I go with him. That's it, you know. Well, that's you, did, you didn't vote with me? No, 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 this time. Last time, yes, but this time, no. Why didn't you do it this time? I wanted actually that uh, new people will come, okay? He did a great 12 years, it's about time to change. But, you know, the vast majority said he needs to stay. So is he staying? Yeah, I like BBS, yeah, so I think it's a good thing. <laughs> we would watch Israel, and Israel kind of led, you know, things like the vaccines and lockdowns as well. We, we saw it on TV and we were told that the restrictions here were quite tight. But I've been to Israel a few times. Did people really keep those restrictions? Or were Israelis typical and kind of, uh, yeah, we keep it? So it was mixed. During coronavirus? Yes. Were you happy with how Bibi responded? You like the, the lockdowns and the mandates, were you happy with that? Uh, no, I'm not happy with that, but you know, uh, everything... Do you, so do you forgive Bibi for that? Uh, I don't know, but you know, Bibi... Bibi is the king. He likes he like Bibi, yeah, so... Uh, something that's interesting with COVID specifically and the management of COVID, around the world we saw qu something quite different to Israel. We saw the right generally were against mandates, were against lockdowns, were against everything to do with COVID, the, the, the kind of general narrative where the left supported it, which is yeah, uh, similar. Why in Israel was it so different? Because in Israel, I think the left wing is in charge of uh, freedom of speech and civilians' rights in Israel. Monotheism, polytheism. Polo, it's love. It's, it's a feminine. So we need feminine energy to yeah, rule the country. Love. And mono is the one that said, no, only one. You love only one people. Only one. What about security for the country? Do you think love is going to bring security to the country? I think acceptance will bring the, the, the change and the peace. When I think that I'm better than you on, or I'm better from someone else, so nothing will change. Am I happy? I freaking hate politics, you know? It's like... Uh... It doesn't matter anymore, you know? Nobody feel hopeful or anything like that anymore. We are all the same, from the same yeah. sperm I, I, of I, I, God. I, I know, that sounds lovely, but it, but really, do terrorists feel that way? Mm. Terrorists have a lot of hate. There seems to be a lot of drama, a lot of people speaking up, how yeah. dangerous it is. You, you don't exaggerate, of course, yes. Where did you get such good English? Uh, I'm an English teacher. Are you an English teacher? <laughs> Her English is definitely better than mine. I'm happy that Israel have government, no matter what. What the people want, this is what need. You've got a good heart. I just don't know if it'll play out in reality. In about three years, I have five elections, so do you think that it, this is a bit more stable now? It's a landslide victory. Why do you think they won by such a landslide? It's not such a landslide. If you pick up the numbers, it's a bit like Trump and Hillary, that Hillary had the popular vote, but Trump had the electoral vote. So it's like this again, it's, uh, it's, it's about 50-50, just the um, games of, um, we call it mandates in uh, Hebrew or in Israel. And it means that the, the, right, the left side of the map had less parties that uh, arrived other behind the, 
beyond the limit of the mandates that you should achieve. One example, a good example, is Meretz Party, a left-wing party. For 30 years, uh, it lives on the ticket of human rights. And now the Ministry of Health of Israel was the chairman of that party. And he ruined human rights for Israelis. And therefore, this party did not pass the threshold this year. So for the first time in 30 years, they're not in the, uh, in the parliament. Stability is important. In the... Uh one and a half years for election, five, it's, um, it's not normal. You know, we say Bibi Bibi, but don't, he's not a one-man show. This is a democracy, we have a very great people, clever people in this country, and by the end we are trying to take the best for the country. This is the only democracy in the Middle East, and they need to bless for it, and it's important. Do you think it's a big threat, or? A big threat? The, the results, do you think? I don't think it's a big threat, you know, if you go and look in every fucking country right now, in the US and in Europe and in Asia and in Israel, it's like, it's not a threat, it's just like where the world is heading, which is maybe more Republican slash right wing slash, and, and that's just where the world is heading. I don't think it's a threat. If you enjoyed this report, make sure to like, comment, and most importantly, share it far and wide so the rest of the world gets to see the other side of the story from here in Israel. and. If you're willing and able, please go to bbreturns.com to chuck in a few bucks to help us fund this trip. None of this is possible without your support. bbreturns.com. Hello, how, how are you, doing, my mate? friend? You good? Yeah. How do you feel about the election? About the election, look, because I'm a bit of the, like, the right side decision, I'm a bit happy. Like, you know, we need to, <laughs> <laughs> yes. we need to get and accept every, everybody as they are. And without like uh, wrong looking at them, or it's their life, they're supposed to do what they want to do. And that's it. Maybe we all live together one day. There you go. BBReturns.com.